Hello there, everybody. Peter of England here um, on uh, the beginning of the new year, bringing you an update on things for 2014. Um, what I'm actually coming to uh, discuss with you all today is the fact that the tempo, as I see it, for change uh, within society and uh, the planet globally, uh, we've got to raise the tempo over 2014 because from what I can gather and what I believe, it's a make or break year. Now, there's so, so much to cover, but I'll try and cover it within about five to seven minutes and keep this video short. For those of you who saw Edward Snowden, uh, his what's called alternative Christmas message to the world that was broadcast, uh, he warns all of you that there is a type of surveillance which is unprecedented in human uh, history and that the monitoring of every individual's private thought and individualized piece of communication has been going on for some time now and this is one of the major problems for, for everybody. You are being constantly surveyed. Now, what does this mean to people? Are there solutions? Is there a solution? What does, for example, Edward Snowden have in common with somebody called Eric Arthur Blair? Blair of a Blair family. You might know him as a guy called George Orwell, who wrote a book called 1984, which actually forewarns greatly of the things that Edward Snowden refers to, and he also uh, relates to the novel in that Christmas message. If you haven't read the book, do yourself a favor and read it. Now, Orwell was party to information. Whether that information came to him through the Illuminati, uh, but uh, Blair was Eaton uh, educated. He came from a reasonably uh, well-to-do background. And he also, uh, his father worked for the what's called the Opium Department for the British government uh, in the First World War. Now, what I'd like to then refer to you, why I think things are different now, we're looking for solutions. Solutions. There may be many. There may be none. There may be a few. But maybe those solutions have already, already gone. This is the problem. Why 2014 is particularly important for everyone is that on December the 23rd, 1913, the Federal Reserve Act came into being. From what we can gather, there was a 100-year contractual window. Therefore, that window closed for the bankers, for the banksters, for the Illuminati, the New World Order, on December the 23rd, 2013. It has just passed. Therefore, we're in a, a no-man's land of opportunity now. Now, why that is important for you to know as soon as that Federal Reserve Act was passed, one year later, the world agenda for the Illuminati or the New World Order was to take the planet to war, which they did. That was the first part, the setup. Then in 1939, we went into the next part, the World War II. This was a financial attack whereby the plans for 13 were consolidated into a, a global agenda for seizing of all planetary gold and to put a fiat currency, a credit union of the Illuminati bankers into position so that the next phase could be rolled out. 1944 particularly, the Bretton Woods Agreement, which was signed, I think it was June 1944, before the war was even over, was the harbinger for the next phase. Now, the not-so-good news for all of you watching this now is that there was never going to be a Third World War in the sense of what people were conditioned to for the First and for the Second. The actual Third World War was declared and waged upon you following a ten-year study on how to control economies and the human psyche by an organization called the Op Op uh, Operations Research Establishment. And in 1954, at the first meeting of the Bilderberg Group, war was declared secretly and covertly onto the people of the planet. So, what we can say from that is, for some 60 years now, 
after the race began, you're all still in bed. You're all still in bed and dreaming and contemplating your navel. And why is it called a navel? Because you're birthed into a ward. But this means we, we have to do something, we have to change. Now, what the World War III agenda was when it started, even with the Yalta Agreement at the end of the Second World War, we had a, a, a communist or a, a fascist dictatorship, communist dictatorship, imposed upon the world. It was imposed on Russia and it was upon, on, imposed on the Chinese through Chairman Mao or Mao Zedong. Millions and millions and millions and millions were killed under those two regimes. Those regimes were programmed. They were like a computer program. The Russians and the Chinese knew nothing of communism up until that point. So, this is the, the, the point. There are secret weapons for a silent war which are, have been waged against you from 1954. These include the surveillance, these include the, the taxation regimes, these include the electricity, the pulsed frequencies that are coming down your generating grids and into every piece of uh, uh, electrical software or hardware that you have in your, your possession. It's very insidious, it's very dangerous. So, what next? What, where's the way to go? Well, what I would suggest to you is begin now. Begin by stopping. You must stop doing what you think you should be doing or what you are doing and begin to do something where you're actually thinking it through for yourselves. You need to stop complying with your normal processes of, of should we say, a belief system or a belief system that are being given to you. And start questioning where have those belief systems come from and who has given them to you. The solutions, therefore, we suggest as I round this, this, into this uh, video up now is you've got to join something. You've got to come together. You've got to have some type of strength in unity. Otherwise, I'm afraid that by the end of 2014, with the, the robot type robotization, the planned uh, holographic insert technology and uh, super warrior technology that the covert government have, then there isn't going to be much hope left for you. So now maybe you have the chance for change. I don't know. But if you do nothing, if you continue to sit there thinking, oh, it'll all get worked out, it'll all come out in the wash, I'm afraid the only thing that's going to come out in the wash is you. So what I'm suggesting now is join RE. Join RE movement. See the contact details on the video here. From February 2014, We'll need you to be joining. You can join now, but we need to start organizing. We're going to be doing this in the UK. We'll have workshops. We're going to have tactical meetings. We'll show you how we can deliver. And we know it can be done because we're in possession of some information that, that you really do need. I'm not handing this out over, over the internet because it's too complicated and it'll get, it'll get trampled underfoot, so to speak. So, so join. We'll have meetings in. February in the UK for a push through 14 for change. So, thank you for watching. Please make sure you press the subscribe button. Pass this on to everyone you can. And hopefully, we'll all be seeing each other in 2014 and making a change. Peter of England here, signing off. Thank you.